reason for not having so many cl clinical trials is that basically we are not recognized as so-called experts in the in the world of hematology. Knowledge is not the problem. So being in contact with the literature on the on the subject every day practically we're following what is coming out new and what are the recommendations and the guidelines and everything but we simply don't have the means to implement everything that is in the guidelines in this way we are not very you know uh, recognizable for publishing any kind of data because we mostly have clinical data also, the prices for publishing in the renowned journals and the ones that mean something in the world of hematology have very high prices for our standards of living. So, we know what we need to do. We can publish what we are doing, but it is very expensive for us to do. And then, in exchange for that fact, we are not being recognized as experts. So, the international community doesn't really have uh, any means to, to get in touch with us and to try to establish a clinical trial where we are included or where our patients are included. This is uh, also due to the fact that uh, we're lacking uh, either very advanced technology or very new drugs for implementing in the, in the clinical trials. I know that if we do have a clinical trial, we would have access to the drugs to the drugs on account of the trial but as i said before we had to we have to be in touch with the people who would like to perform the trial so monitoring of the trial would be a problem for the organizer as well because the monitoring would have to be uh, performed by monitors coming to our country uh, this is not a thing that is already under European legislation. So if monitoring should be done, then there would be someone from outside of our country who would come in here and do the monitoring of the data and the results and everything else. Also, what we are lacking is a good uh, department for biomedical statistics, which is not developed here. And this is something different than normal statistics. I mean, survival curves and stuff like that are not a normal part of statisticians' uh, education. So this is somebody that needs to be educated in, in the sense of biomedical uh, statistics. But then I know that uh, we do have, uh, that the community does have uh, doubts about the accuracy of the data, data that we provide, meaning that uh, as countries or as a region, we have some kind of a maybe a bad reputation about uh, so to say fixing results to match to the uh, aim of the study but this is a subjective view everything i have said until now is only my opinion it doesn't necessarily need to be true but this is the view i have on why we are not included in uh, clinical trials as as much as we can be we can provide a significant number of patients for inclusion in the trials, but uh, uh, I don't, I don't uh, say that only from one country, but from the region as well. So we are trying to connect in a different manner, as is uh, the establishing of so-called Balkan experts groups. So far, we have done that for myeloma, which is a very prominent uh, association on, on these uh, in this region and it has been associated to uh, experts which are uh, readily recognized in the scientific world so I think this way in this manner if we do Balkan uh, coordination and getting large numbers of centers and patients we might uh, probably pursue a breakthrough in acquiring some more than the nest, the, the present status of uh, clinical trials. I do think that uh, some of the reasons might be hidden in the uh, difference in, legislat in uh, legislature uh, regarding clinical trials. Because as you know, we're not a member country of the EU. We are a candidate for a very long time. 
But the thing is, we need to synchronize the legislature so that the patients could enter such clinical trials in not a very complicated procedure. So, uh, ethnic committee, ethic committee, ethical committee uh, approvals would be normal, and that is something we're even doing now. But as far as uh, concerns over patient rights or uh, anything else that is included in the European legislature, uh, probably should or could be synchronized as we are advancing towards becoming a member country of the EU. And I think that this affects the other countries in the surrounding as well.